Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Solution. Today I will be discussing graphical method to balance the traverse. So as we know there are four methods to balance the traverse. Bondage method, graphical method, transit method, axis method. I have discussed all these methods in separate videos. So today this video is dedicated to graphical method. So what is graphical method? It is nothing but a modified form of bondage rule only in which we have don't we have we don't have to do any calculation for uh, like in bondage rule but we have to apply this method directly over the traverse so i will explain this how to apply this correction using with the help of example before that this theory is also applicable for graphical method so i just read it out once that error in linear measurement should be proportional to root l Error in angular measurement should be proportional to 1 by root L and each angular and linear measurement should be taken with equal precision. These three points we have to consider in mind while applying the graphical method. So let's move forward. So this is the uh, application of body rule. I have explained this calculation in separate video. You can watch over there. Today the point of discussion is graphical method and I, I will explain how to apply it. Suppose this is our traverse A, B, C, D, E and our arrow is A, A dash, E which is making angle theta with vertical. So to apply this method, what we will do, we will draw a line whose length is equal to the perimeter of this traverse. So what I have done, I have drawn a line whose perimeter is just equal to the length of this traverse whose length is just equal to the perimeter of this traverse and I have drawn this is A point, B point, C, D, E and A dash. Now what we have to do, we have to transfer this error over A dash such, such that the angle or orientation of this error doesn't change. So we have to make a line E over here and make sure that this line also makes an angle theta with the vertical as in the original case so i have already told you what is error this suppose this is our a point this is our a dash point and our error is e the length of this line is e actually and this is angle theta the angle of error then theta will be equal to summation of departure upon summation of length l this will be our summation of departure and this will be our summation of yeah sorry this is latitude not length so the summation of latitude summation of departure now to apply this correction what we will do we will draw a line from a to this a a point we will join this point and we will draw a line from each of this point a c b whose uh, whose orientation is same to with whose uh, whose length orientation is parallel to a a dash. Suppose this is a a dash making angle theta. We should draw a line whose angle is theta from e and which will intersect or this line at e dash. D to d dash, c to c dash, b to b dash. This b is in the beneath. So now what we will do, we will transfer this line over here. So the white one is our original traverse over which what I have to do, I have, to, I have shifted this point over this point. And now what I have to do, I, I will shift the E point to E dash point. How to shift this point over here? We will transfer this line over this length. I will transfer this length and just a minute. I will transfer this length from here without changing its orientation. Its magnitude is as equal to e dash and this is our e dash whose orientation is theta. Now similarly we will transfer d to d dash, c to c dash and b to b dash. So I have marked d, d dash and this should be over slightly over here, d dash. 
beginners so this is our now we will join the points of all the dash and with a a e dash d dash c dash b dash and a so now the red one is our corrected travel so this method is very simple all you have to do is maintain the orientation of correction and while transferring back you have to maintain that orientation the magnitude is obtained from this point to this point this is your magnitude of correction so this is very simple and this method is equivalent to bodies method the error correction we in all the lines is very simple uh, equal to the bodies method so hopefully this video is very helpful for you to understand the graphical method if you have any doubt please comment and uh, thank you for watching